Wow, I'll tell you something. I remember one time I was dating somebody and I knew she wanted, you know, I wanted she, a little I bit more. I know who You know, this. wanted a little bit more, wanted yeah, a little she, bit she more. Yeah, she like lived with you for three lived years. Lived with me for a couple years, but you, you know what? bought all your clothes, Do you know she never know she knew is. how to negotiate to get me to commit further. She didn't know her self-worth. She didn't know her self-worth. Okay. Tell, tell so women that. Tell women how to negotiate Negotiating that. the wing is a very simple technique. The ring is just a symbol of his devotion and commitment. Now, does that mean you have to get married in the next segment? No, because I have a ring, it's a promise ring. I'm not sure that I want to get married. I kind of like this ring and every year I get traded up to a different piece of jewelry. So that's me, I'm 52, I'm not pregnant, I'm not rushing to the altar, we'll see what happens down the road. But for those who want it now, not, not you know, two weeks from now, not yesterday, now, you want it now, you have a lot of things to think about. First of all, one, is he worth it? If you know undoubtedly, 100% he's the guy, here are the simple tips. The first thing is, you're gonna have to give him a me and made him. If you've gone past a year, you're screwed, really. So you have to really take your power back. He has you cleaning, cooking, taking care of the laundry. If he has children, sometimes you're a part-time mm -hmm. babysitter, okay? And he's getting stupped, which means getting laid for Yiddish on a regular basis. So he's got the whole enchilada. He doesn't want anything else. Right, he doesn't want anything Yeah, he's else. got everything he wants. It's like, you know, why, the whole expression, why buy the cow if you can get the milk for free? Well, why buy the apartment when the market has crashed if you're getting the rent for free? Okay, so what are you gonna do? You know he's the one and you know you're nervous. You've tried to have the talk, what's your plan, where are you going? And you can sit down in the sober light of day at the coffee shop and say, honey, what's your plan for us? And he'll go, oh, I don't know. Does it mean he doesn't love you? No. First of all, take that off the table. He loves you. He's just a man of creature of comfort. So we have to take his comfort away, just like a toys for the kids. You have a mm -hmm. little child, right? You've got a three-year-old daughter. Got to take, you gotta take gotta Little take, Mermaid away. Right, you got to take yep. Little Mermaid away when she's screaming and yelling and won't get into the bathtub. So you're going to do the same thing. So you're going to say to the guy, what's your plan? And then when he has no plan, you're going to say, honey, when we first met, obviously we were on the same page of getting married and I think you were the cat's meow. You're giving him basically a compliment. You're a catch. But unfortunately we're not on the same page. So this is what's gonna happen. I don't feel comfortable anymore in this relationship. So I am either going to move out to my girlfriend's place and take my belongings with me and take a break. Or if I'm not living with him and I've got some things at his apartment, I'm going to pick up those things at Friday at five o'clock, let the, door, the doorman's gonna let me in and I'm going to really think about this because I really need a guy who wants to be married like I do and I just don't think we're a good fit anymore, but I wish you best of luck, namas fucking stay. That's what you're gonna do. You have Nama to take, leave. right, you can't cook for him, you can't clean for him, you can't take his phone calls. Now what do you do? This is the hardest part. You have to delete his number. Now how many people do we know? I don't even think I know David's number by heart. I'm not kidding. I don't know anyone's number anymore because we're so used either. to pushing the button. I don't you either. delete his number, okay? You tell your friends and family not to give information where you are. You need him to show up in his car at your apartment. You need him to meet you. And the next time he calls you, after you've made him suffer at least for two, three weeks, you say you can meet me at Tiffany's and get me the ring. Men. And you want to have a formal announcement and you want your families to join together and plan the wedding. If he can't do these three steps, he's not your guy and it's time to trade up. When men lose what they had and they get to sit in that cave miserable for two or three weeks, they'll step up no to the idea. plate. You, you have think, no idea how depressed they get. You think because yep. he's 25, I don't care if he's 85, his friends are gonna rally around him and try to get him out and try to get him in the bar scene. Yep. And he's gonna look at this bar scene and wanna be home watching Sports Center with Marsalis. He's not gonna want to go out and hunt. Men who've become gatherers, which is when they become nesters at home, do not wanna hunt again. You already have brought the bear to him. Why would he want to go hunt it down, right? You understand? Well, not only that, he probably doesn't have, he probably, his game wasn't that good in the first place. So for him to re-up right. and to become a hunter again is painful. And usually this type of guy, you know, when women get, when women split up from a guy, they, they get these x back programs. When men split with a woman, they go to try these, you know, pickup programs, you know, and they try to go and they try to become a hunter. They're not okay. a hunter, now, he never was. What, He's a gatherer, what do you he's do, a nester. What do you do during those three weeks? Well, you get busy. You get your yep. dance card filled. You go on the vacation you always wanted to go on. You basically go and hang out with your girlfriends and do all those, those romantic comedies 
he wouldn't take you to, go see him because that's going to make you feel hope and feel happy. You start looking around. You start noticing the hot guys that were single that you didn't notice when you were in a relationship. And now that you're in a relationship, you can't get them because you're in a relationship. Your dance card's taken. So you start doing all those things. If you want to take a pottery, if you want to go skiing, I don't give a shit what you do. You fill them up seven nights a week, 365, and you watch that man beat that fucking door down. I've never seen this fail. And I'm it here works. at 911 on call 24 seven on yep. this podcast to give you more information. We're gonna take your questions down the road and we're gonna listen to all those people who are gonna do this technique. And when you get in distress, I'm gonna be there because I have never not seen a guy give the ring, even if he had to go to the bottom of the Cracker Jack barrel to find the ring. As a matter of fact, if you wanna be a guest on our podcast, do me a favor. Click down below, okay? There's a link. The link is gonna take you to Patty Knows. When you go to Patty Knows, send us a send us an email. If your story is one that we think we can help, we'll do a relationship 911. We will fix your relationship live on the podcast. 911 rescue. As a matter of fact, we may even call the dude and figure out why the hell he hasn't stepped up to the plate hey, listen, and have it live listen, right then and there on the podcast. Uh, look, Ryan Seacrest has Ryan Roses, Patty Stanger, and David Wygant. We have Matchmaker Rescue. We basically are gonna call that dude and get the 411. There's something you don't know. Maybe there's an ex-girlfriend that's lingering around he thinks he can trade up maybe he's he doesn't have any money most times guys won't get the ring because they think they're they need to have the house and two cars and the boat and their business needs to be flourished before they can go out and buy a ring there are a lot of ways to finance and get inexpensive rings and you just have to be the girls to say listen it doesn't have to be a diamond it can be an amethyst join us weekly on the podcast we'll see you soon